Good dear student, myself Amit Kumar Gautam and I am from the Sri Chaitanya Gosala campus. I welcome you all in this online revision program of the best institute of the India, Sri Chaitanya. And today I will discuss the topic gaseous state. So first you see the name of this chapter. The name is neither a gas state or gases state we use a different and a new word that is called the gaseous so it has a different meaning what is the meaning of that the gaseous word is used combinedly for both gas and the liquid papers so whatever we study in this chapter will be applicable for the both gas as well as the liquid vapors okay so look word gas means it is the gas and liquid vapor now I want to know the general properties of the gas to know it what I have done I took one I take one cylindrical system with a weightless frictionless piston over it okay and it has a gas inside if I put some weight on this piston then what happens piston will move downward and that is the compression of the gas okay so means what gas is the compressible in nature we can compress the gas gas can be the compressible in nature but if I release those weight from the piston if I release this weight from the piston then what happens now piston will move upward means gas is started to expand so that's why we have the second property of the gas what is that gas is the expandable in nature we can expand the gas suppose if we have some pinhole in this container what happens the gas from inside container started to come outside and that is called the diffusion means now we have the third property that is the gas is diffusible in nature these are the general properties of the gases means every gas show these general properties what whenever we want to know things or properties regarding a particular gas look if I give you if I ask you the question tell me something about the gas then you will give these information but I say no 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 not about the any gas you just tell me about the gas which is present inside this room then now you will give the different answer so these three these three are the general properties of the gas what is the meaning of that it is the general means every gas shows these property but whenever we want to characterize a particular gas then what are the property we use to characterize that gas that those are the pressure of the gas volume of the gas temperature of the gas and number of moles of the gas look a gas is characterized by the p pressure v volume t temperature and n is the number of moles okay now what is the pressure we know that gas molecule always continuously they are in the random motion they collide with each other and change the direction so means they collide with each other as well as they also collide on the wall of container whenever they collide on the wall of container they exert a force in the outward direction that force exerted by the gas molecule per unit surface area of the wall is called the pressure so we have a very simple formula what is the pressure pressure is the force per unit area okay in this chapter mainly we calculate the temperature in the atmospheric unit okay which is the means uh, atmospheric pressure okay okay one atmosphere is equal to the 760 mm Hg which is also called 760 tor one atmosphere pressure is equal to the 101325 Pascal 101325 Pascal okay and it is also equal to the 14.7 pound per inch square or PSI PSI means pressure per square inch okay now 
1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton meter square which is also equal to kg per meter per second square 10 is power 5 Pascal is equal to 1 bar so okay so 1 bar is generally means for the calculation we can take the 1 atmosphere but actually exactly is equal to 0.86923 atmosphere okay if we want to convert the height of the mercury in term of the water what is the conversion factor 1 mm hg height is equal to 13.6 mm height of the water suppose pressure is expressed in term of the liquid with the density d1 and height is the h1 and now we want to calculate the pressure in term of another liquid whose height is the h2 and density is the d2 then what is the formula h1 d1 g is equal to h2 d2 g by this formula we can convert the pressure in term of the height of the one liquid to the another liquid now next property is the volume what is the volume volume is the space occupied by the gas molecule in any container or we can say it is simply space occupied by the gas molecules what are the unit one meter cube is equal to 1000 liter one decimeter cube is equal to one liter and one centimeter cube or one cubic centimeter cc is equal to one ml okay now next is the temperature how we can define the temperature temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of any system how much is the system is hot or how much is the system is cold we calculate these things with the help of the property which is called the temperature temperature is the degree of hotness and coldness of the system okay in this chapter we use the kelvin unit okay temperature in the degree centigrade can be converted into the kelvin by formula temperature in the kelvin is equal to temperature in the degree centigrade plus 273.15 temperature in the degree centigrade plus 273.15 will provide the temperature in the kelvin okay this is a rare unit generally we don't have this use of this unit but still some question it is also given temperature in the degree centigrade is equal to 5 by 9 bracket start temperature in the degree fahrenheit minus 32 okay temperature in the degree fahrenheit can be converted into the temperature in the degree centigrade by using that formula next property is the number of moles okay how we define the how we can calculate the number of mole number of mole it is very simple as we have completed in the first chapter it is given mass divided by molar mass or given volume divided by molar volume or given particle divided by Avogadro number these are the formulas to calculate the number of moles next we have the gas loss what are the gas laws gas laws are the different relationship between pressure volume temperature and number of moles the gas which follow all these gas laws under the all the condition the gas which follow all the gas laws under all the condition called the ideal gas what is the definition of the ideal gas the gas which follow all the gas laws called the ideal gas the gas which shows chemical complication we show the nature change okay those gases which shows chemical complication on the changing pressure volume temperature and number of moles those gases cannot follow these gas laws like NO2 gas if we decrease the temperature this NO2 gas converted into the N2O4 now chemical behavior is changed NO2 is the different and N2O4 is the different chemically it is different so any gas which show the change in its chemical behavior and or it can show the chemical complication by the changing pressure volume temperature and number of moles okay those gases cannot follow the ideal gas uh, gas laws okay so these are the relationship between PVT and N 
गैस विच ओवर इज गैस लॉस इज कॉल्ड द आइडियल गैस गैस विच शोज द कॉम्प्लिकेशन डज नॉट फॉलो द गैस लॉस ओके ऑल द गैस लॉस ऑल द गैस लॉस आर द प्योर एक्सपेरिमेंटल फैक्ट एट द टाइम ऑफ देयर इन्वेंशन देर वॉज नो थ्योरी अवेलेबल टू एक्सप्लेन देयर बिहेवियर दीज आर द जस्ट एक्सपेरिमेंटल फैक्ट्स ओके द फर्स्ट गैस लॉ वी हैव द वर्ल्ड लॉ वॉट इज द वर्ल्ड लॉ टू कैलकुलेट द वर्ल्ड लॉ वी टेक द टेम्परेचर एंड नंबर ऑफ मोल्स कॉन्स्टेंट इफ टेम्परेचर एंड नंबर ऑफ मोल्स कॉन्स्टेंट दैन वेरिएबल आर द प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम ओके सो वी आर चेकिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ द प्रेशर ऑन द वॉल्यूम वॉट इज इट इफ वी पुट द वेट हेयर इफ आई पुट द वेट हेयर सो ड्यू टू दैट वॉट हैपन्स प्रेशर इंक्रीजेस If pressure increases, what happens? Piston will move downward. Means volume decreases. Pressure is increased, then volume decreases. Means we can say volume of the gas is inversely proportional to the pressure applied over the piston. Same I have given here. At the constant temperature and number of moles. Temperature is constant. We are not heating the container, not cooling the container, and number of moles is also constant. We are not adding the gas inside we are not withdrawing the gas from inside okay so temperature and number of moles are the constant then at constant number of moles and temperature of the gas the volume of the gas is inversely proportional to the pressure applied on the gas we can say volume is inversely proportional to the pressure at constant and nt Okay, to remove the proportional design, we have to take the constant. Then what we have V is equal to K by P, or we can say P V is equal to constant, or P one V one is equal to P two V two at constant at given temperature and number of moles.